today the here's the here's the general pr premise of what do i follow f1 Ooh, we're sidetracking real quick so we'll get back to this is the adhd kicking in we're talking about f1 now i do follow f1 i love f1 But yeah, we'll do a little Q&A in a second. But here's the general premise, prem, premise, premise for what we're going to do for stream today. So we're going to do a little Q&A just for a little bit. And then what we're going to do is we have a in-person guest that's going to come in on the stream in a minute. And they are going to be talking about some of their research in theoretical quantum physics. Yeah, we got a theorist in here. But until then, until they're ready, we're going to do some Q&A. So feel free to rifle questions out. Is it worth doing a PhD? Depends what you want to do. If you want to do research and you really, really want to do like research, then... Yes, it can be worth it. I think the big advice that I try to give people is that if you're at a point where you're like, I don't know if I want to do a PhD, it's on my radar though, then if you're an undergrad or even high school, think to yourself, what do I need to do to get into a PhD program? Because if you do that, I have a video on this too. It's the, if I give every student one piece of advice, it would be this, it's that video. But essentially what I did is I went, I don't know if I want to do a PhD yet when I'm an undergrad, but I want to leave that option on the table, but also not close my doors off to anything else. What I did is I went, okay, I'm going to pretend I want to get a PhD. Think, what do I have to do for that? What is everything I have to do to get a PhD? And when I did that, I then was like, okay, I'm going to join a club. I'm going to go get research. I'm going to try to publish papers. I'm going to do all that kind of stuff. And when I got to the end of my undergrad, after the long array of things I did, it's called covered in that video. Then what happened was I was like, oh, wait a minute. Now I'm qualified for a PhD if I want to do that. I'm also qualified to do a master's if I want to do that. And I have a really good resume. And I can go get a job if I want to do that. That was my kind of thing. If you don't know you want to do a PhD, then pretend you do and think what you have to do for that. And that's going to qualify you nicely for a lot of other things that you want to do, whether you want to actually do it in the end or not. Do any grad students with a stutter? If so, how do they manage giving talks? Word it might affect. Oh, don't let any kind of uh, thing like that stop you. What matters, especially when you give technical talks, is the content in it. People aren't going to be like, oh, he didn't he didn't give that off perfectly. I can't believe it. They're going to be like, wow, that was really impressive research. They're not going to care that you have a stutter. I promise you. They're not going to care what your voice sounds like or anything. If I saw someone make comments about giving someone giving a talk with a stutter, I'd be like, oh, they sound weird. I'd be like, shut up. I'd be like, that was really cool work. What are you talking about? When did you have an aha moment in EE in physics? Uh, whatever that means to you. When I graduated. I'm kidding. No, um, an aha moment. I feel like it's usually like, oh, I'm taking intro quantum mechanics. And then I now think of something that I did in intro physics. And I was like, oh, that's why that happened. It's usually always like when I take the next class, then I look back on the class that was one level below it. And I'm like, oh, that was why they did that. It's always like I have to get to the next level and struggle at that to make the level below it make sense. It's always like I have an understanding of one level below, but then the level I'm currently at never makes sense. You're funny? You're funny. No, you're funny. I don't know if you're funny, but I'm going to assume you are because your profile picture is... Never mind. I can't tell what that is. I am funny. I am. It's from ba Oh, Baku, dude. I used to love Bakugan. I used to get like the, what was the, the, the OG like dragon one, that ball. It was like the OG dragon, like the, the, the uh, it's literally not Dragon Ball, like the show, like Dragon Ball. Where I got like a little mat and I would like chuck it on the mat. I never even played it. I never even knew how to play Bakugan. I just thought it was cool that you can get these little things in a ball. And then when the magnet like hit the thing, it like popped open and I would just throw it. Like, I would just, like, walk around my house and just chuck it at stuff. I never knew how to play the actual game. I couldn't tell you how to play it. I just loved the little things, and I had a bunch of them that I would just throw around. It was like that, and, like, it was like, there was an arc of, like, Bakugan. There was the, the, Blade, the Beyblade arc still goes hard. I would still, I would still run some Beyblade. Someone put some Beyblades in front of me and went, we're gonna run it today. I'd let it rip. That's all I gotta say. I would definitely let it rip. That was kind of, that, that sums up my childhood. Anyways, let's grab another question. Explain singularity like you would to a five-year-old. Think of a lot. Think of a golf ball. Now, what if I took a golf ball and I got a lot of golf balls together? And now, what if I took all those golf balls and I squished them into one golf ball? And then what if I took that golf ball that I squished into one golf ball and I put more golf balls around it? And then I took all those golf balls and I squished them into a golf ball again. And then I took more golf balls and I put them around that golf ball that I just squished from the other golf ball that I squished from golf balls. And now I squished all those golf balls together. And then I got another go set of golf balls and I put those around that golf ball and I squished them all around that golf ball, which I squished from other golf balls, which got squished from other golf balls from golf balls. And then squish that together into a tiny place that you can't see, like a speck of dust. Singularity. I think that was probably the simplest way I can describe it. I'm sure everyone understood what I just said. I'm sure that made a lot of sense. Whose account name is YouTube account? How do you even get the name? Can you just make your name whatever you want? How do you get the name YouTube account? I assume you just said it, but like, why do you make it YouTube account? That's like putting your password as password. 
It's like, duh. Maybe we just live in one. Yeah, I think we do live in one big golf ball. I always knew it was, it was balls all the way down. Yep, it's really just all balls. A lot of balls. What is the wave collapse function? The Schrodinger coin? You're talking about like, what is a wave function? It's under measurement. A wave function collapse under a measurement. Not like a, I don't know how to like put, I don't know if it's like a function. It's like a, an operator. I guess to say, like if I put my position operator on my wave function, then I'm performing a position measurement and I can collapse that function, that wave function. That way, I think, I think we're, I think we're on the same page. Anyways, you think fusion is ever going to work? Uh, I mean, fusion is much better than uh, solid works. No one really likes solid works to make CAD designs. So there's a lot of people here that I think have used solid works and they would be like, I hate solid works. But if you go to fusion 360, then you're going to be like, wow, everything is so much prettier and definitely better to CAD stuff in. Was that not what you were asking? Definitely not. You think fusion is ever actually going to work? Let's try that again. I don't think I'm being too mean. What do you think about chemistry? Were you ever interested in chemistry? I always hated chemistry. I have a lot more respect for it now, but like when I was at a high school level and it was like, oh, what science or engineering do I do? Chemistry, I think was at the bottom of my list, but I'm sure there's a lot of people that would also say that about physics. They'd be like, no chance am I doing physics. They'd be like, absolutely no, there's no planet that I do physics, but I'd like chemistry. I'd be like, good for you. We need someone to do that. That's how I feel about material science. All you people out there that are doing material science, if there are any material scientists in here, speak up because we need you because I ain't never touching that shit. I'm never touching that. I will be staying away from that with the 10 foot pole, but we need somebody who likes that. All of you that do that out there, thank you. So I don't have to. Second year physics student from Angle this year and I already feel like quitting. Dude, you're, dude, it took you, you got to your second year before you felt like you felt like quitting? Dude, you're doing great. You're doing awesome, dude. I'm proud of you. It took me like two weeks and I was already like, maybe I don't do this. Maybe I just, maybe I just get out of here. But hey, if it took you to your second year and now you feel like quitting, you're doing, you're doing great. And I, I'm confident you're gonna get through it. I hate chem from all the atoms in my body. That's true. And from a physics side, we'd say that we hate it from all the quarks because we have to be extra. How many balls can you juggle? Like... What kind? That's a deeper question. If we're talking about like golf balls, because we were talking earlier about like golf balls and how if you take a golf ball and then you put more golf balls around it and then you squish those golf balls together and then put more golf balls around that and squish those golf balls together from the golf balls made of around the golf ball. And then you squish all of those together. And then we were, we were talking about how then if you, you, uh, you, 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 you put more golf balls around it then then if you squish all those together from the golf ball that was made of the golf balls around the golf ball that was had more golf balls around i feel like people are tired of this i can't help it once the bit starts i can't stop i can't stop the bit i can't stop it one more mention of golf balls and i was no please no i promise i'll promise i'll never do it again i will never talk about the golf balls that were around the, just, I, just, it was just, I was just talking about the golf ball that had golf balls around it let me squish it together so come in Open the door! I don't know why I didn't think about the fact that I can Oh, you brought a this. chair! You Oh, he brought a chair! I'm well prepared. Nice! Oh, it's so nice in your room, Dario. It is nice and cool having AC. Everybody! He is here. This is...